Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about the Fullerton Tokers Town Gang located in Orange County, California. The Fullerton Tokers Town were founded in the town of Fullerton, California at some point between the 1950s and the 1960s. Mostly Hispanic in nature, this gang arose as a natural response to a series of bad policies enacted by the government. Poor housing conditions, the inability to access higher education, and the lack of a solid alternative to crime fueled the process leading to this gang's birth. In a period where racism was still rampant across most of the United States, Mexican and other Latino people often needed protection both from the police and from white supremacist associations such as the KKK. Groups of younger men would begin to form as each individual took care of those around him and ensured that they could be safe while on the streets. As the years went on, members of the Fullerton Tokers town would progressively engage in larger and more complicated criminal activities. Drugs, alcohol, and violence often characterized the gang. Caesar William Galvez was an OG or a veteran of the Fullerton Tokers town criminal street gang, though he distanced himself from the gang in recent years. On the night of September 15, 2007, Caesar and his wife went to pick up some friends from a birthday party in Fullerton. A fight broke out at the party. People started fighting on top of Caesar's car, denting it. 20-year-old Jeffrey James Cordero and his brother Michael were involved in the fight. Michael was an active youngster, Fullerton Tokers Town gang member. James associated with the gang. People at the party asked James and Michael to leave, and they were pushed out. Michael had been hit in the head with a bottle, and both he and James were angry. Caesar and his wife dropped off their friends, then continued driving in Fullerton. They came across James, Michael, and other youngster Fullerton Tokers Town gang members. The youngster stopped Caesar's car in the street, being hit up like that in the middle of a street in his own neighborhood by Barrio youngsters who don't know him made Caesar feel like a coward. Caesar did not want to feel like a punk, so he got out of the car so the youngsters would show him the respect that he deserves. Another veteran Fullerton Tokers Town gang member, James Hernandez, drove up at around the same time. Caesar began arguing with James and Michael, cussing and yelling. He recognized them as the guys who had dented his car at the party. A bystander overheard words like disrespect and little punks. Caesar punched James in the face. James stumbled, then began fighting back. Meanwhile, Hernandez began fighting with Michael after he admitted hitting Michael in the head at the party. As Caesar and James fought, they fell to the ground. James hovered over Caesar. Caesar pulled out a pocket knife and stabbed the victim 13 times. Two of the stab wounds were four inch deep and one penetrated James's heart. Caesar left the knife stuck in James's head. Caesar fled but was arrested later the next day. His only injuries from the fight were just some scrapes. Caesar later told the police, this is what happens when a bunch of kids can't control themselves. Caesar William Galvez was convicted of murder and sentenced to 17 years to life in state prison. Osiris Lennon Garfias Pedraza was in one of the three cars that went to rival gang territory in Anaheim on July 5, 2017. Jonathan Hernandez, who was on the street near Balsam Avenue in Curtis Court, traded insults with the rival gang members as they drove through the neighborhood. The three cars left the neighborhood, but Garfias Pedraza went back and shot Hernandez to death. Anaheim police were called to the area of Balsam Avenue in Curtis Court at around 2.50 a.m. with reports of shots fired and a man down. Officers found Hernandez shot multiple times, lying in the street next to a bicycle. He was later pronounced dead at UCI Medical Center. Osiris Lennon Garfias Pedraza of Fullerton was convicted in November 2019 of one felony count of first degree murder, one felony count of the personal discharge of a firearm causing death, and one felony count of active participation in a criminal street gang in connection with the murder of Jonathan Hernandez. Osiris Lennon Garfias Pedraza was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. He was also sentenced to an additional 25 years to life for the use of a firearm. One afternoon, Yusama Muhammad and other members of the Fullerton Boys gang attacked Angel Gonzalez on his way home from school. Gonzalez belonged to a gang called Tokertown and had exchanged hostilities with Muhammad's group earlier that day. 
During the attack, the Fullerton boys knocked Gonzalez to the ground and repeatedly kicked him. Muhammad then pulled a handgun and fatally shot Gonzalez. Muhammad was convicted of first-degree murder and assault with a firearm. It is not clear what Muhammad's punishment was, but this happened in 1992. Mark Luna lived in a house with his wife, her parents, and Charles Thomas Ramirez, Luna's wife's brother. The house was in an area claimed by the Fullerton Tokers town gang. Prior to the day of the shooting, Tokers gang members had hassled Luna and on one occasion had beaten him up pretty badly. On March 17, 2011, around 9 p.m., Mark Luna was walking home from a Narcotics Anonymous meeting in Fullerton. That he usually attended such meetings. On this occasion, as he walked down the alley, three white men demanded to see his phone, approached him, and pushed him to the ground. Luna got up and ran home. Upon arriving home, Luna realized he did not have a cell phone. Luna told his wife he had to go back and get his phone. Charles went with Luna, although Luna had not asked him to do so. Luna and Charles walked back to the area where Luna had lost his cell phone. After finding the phone, Charles asked Luna to walk with them up to the dark alleyway. After walking a little further, Luna saw two Hispanic men who appeared to be changing a tire on a minivan. Luna told Charles the Hispanic men were not the same persons who had attacked him. Charles acknowledged he knew this. Charles whistled and went to talk to the men. Luna heard Charles say, homie, in an aggressive tone. Luna heard one of the men laugh in Charles' face. Charles punched the young man in the face, knocking him to the ground. The victim grabbed a tire iron and tried to run. Charles pulled out a gun and shot the victim. The victim fell. Luna ran home. Charles arrived there a few minutes later. Charles told Luna, don't say nothing, dog. Luna did not report the incident to the police. Later in jail, when Luna asked Charles why he had shot the victim, Charles replied that he had just meant to shoot him in the rear end. A forensic pathologist testified the victim died of a gunshot wound to the head and was shot from over two feet away. The court sentenced Charles Thomas Ramirez Jr. to 25 years to life for the murder conviction and a consecutive term of 25 years to life for the enhancement.